a wonderful story I heard about a king and his four wives in my group Pure Souls. There was a king who was on his deathbed, dying sick, and he was scared of going alone into the other world. So he decided he would ask his four wives. He asked his favorite wife, the fourth wife, who was very beautiful, will you come with me? I have given you everything in the world, but would you die with me and come to the other world? And she said, absolutely no. He went to the third wife, who he was always proud of, showing her off to different kingdoms, to the neighborhood. But she said, sorry, I will remarry. I'm very young and I'm very beautiful. I won't be able to come. He went to the second wife. She said, I'm so sorry. But what I will do is I will give you a decent funeral. I will have everything for you beautifully put up. And suddenly he heard a voice of a lady. And that was his first wife who said, yes, I will come. I am always with you and I never leave you and go away. And he had taken the least care of her. So he was quite upset. He said, what have I done? What is the moral of this story? We all have four wives in our life. The fourth wife is our body. The body that lives with us till our last breath, but will not follow us. The third, who is the third wife? The third wife is our gold, silver, possessions, our bungalows, our house, everything. But we don't take it with us ever. Even Alexander said that when I die, please keep my hands out of the grave. Because the whole world should know that the richest man in the world died with hands empty. The second wife are your friends, families, guides, people around you. They will all be there. But once you die, nobody keeps the dead body for more than two days. And the first wife, which is the most important, which we neglect the most, is our soul. This is so important. Pray, nourish the soul, do meditation, do satsangs, do good deeds, good karmas. These are the only things, blessings are the only thing that you take with you after you pass away with the soul. So now think again and think wisely. How much time do you give to these four wives in your lives? The soul is the one you will least be bothered about. And the body is the one you will be most excited about. All, all need to be fed, but the soul should not be forgotten. Touch your soul, sit quietly, meditate, retrospect, become a better human being, better than you were yesterday. Do these things and trust me, when you move on, you will be so happy and so blessed. For more details on good living, please join my WhatsApp group. For positive thoughts at 9820308163 and join my WhatsApp group. God bless you all. Please feed all four wives. Thank you.